The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 270 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ken Hartnett. But Byron, does the fact that this is not a title match change the champ's game plan here? I don't think so, Michael. If I know him, he sees this match as just another opportunity to prove he is the most dominant force in all of the WWE. is going to be good. And his opponent from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is a man who has never made an idle threat. One of the most dangerous competitors ever to step into the squared circle. If there is hostility, if there is tension... Here we go, steel cage action kicking off here. Look at him, oh, locked inside that cage like a couple of rabid animals. Most of the time, I don't understand Samoa Joe's problem. I understand healthy competition in WWE, but Joe takes it to a dangerous level. Saxon, I wouldn't expect you to understand Samoa Joe's mindset. He has the instincts of an assassin, something very few possess. Planet. Oh, what impact. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. technique gentlemen we are bearing witness to the destroyer Samoa Joe he's put the entire WWE locker room on notice night after night he'll beat down your heroes render them unconscious when they wake up he'll beat them down all over again He's in full control now. Oh, nasty impact. What's he got in mind? You describe Samoa Joe's approach toward the WWE locker room, Corey. The Samoan submission specialist loves to leave a path to destruction, and he's not impressed by anyone in WWE. It doesn't matter if you're an architect, a demon king, or a big dog. Samoa Joe wants to not only beat you, he wants to put you to sleep. Woozy after that impact. No, he reverses it. On, he dodges out of the way. He's looking at it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Is he done? Stitched in. He got him to tap out. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. Here is your winner, Ken. And that's a huge tap-out victory there. 
These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 270 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ken Hartnett. Guys, the anticipation for the steel cage match has been absolutely From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, Freakzilla Scott Steiner. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Oh. I think we know what this is. He looks a bit off his game here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Ooh. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Too quick for him there. And another reversal. Seems like we're back away again, Michael. He's too quick for him there. Smooth transition. When this guy's on, look out. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. He's on the defensive now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. This cage really has gotten the best of the line so far. 
so much so that it makes me question if he even has what it takes to win this thing. The steel cage is a massive... Uh-oh, the forearm's gonna cut off the wind. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. If you look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho, they... I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Not yet. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors, Jack Bloomfield... He's got him covered. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too early in the match to end it. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Look at this. Oh, what incredible power. Can he do it here? This guy just refuses to quit. Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Going for the rock. And the slam. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in the thunder, a slam. And there it is, boys. Shoulders on the back. Two. This battle's not over yet. Nice kick out. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, flying forearm, that'll turn your lights out. Oh boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Making it look easy. I'll tell you, the cage has absolutely beaten down these superstars. Lightning fast reflexes. Larian! And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. God. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. There's a pin now. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Oh, man. I don't know who to root for. Given what we've seen so far here tonight, I'm willing to bet these superstars will think twice before stepping foot inside another steel cage. You've got to believe this one's over. Harsh impact. Boom! <laughs> I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This man, we've got a visitor. More like an unwelcome visitor, Michael.
There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. He knows he's in trouble. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside it. Looking for the exclamation point! Kyle Driver! Can he finish him off here? That should do it right there. Two! And the shoulder's up in time. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. The toughness and grit we're seeing on display tonight in this steel cage match has been absolutely unbelievable. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Oh my God, he's done it. He scored the win. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Some pretty good give and take in this match as these highlights show. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Here is your winner, Freakzilla, Scott Steiner. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one -on -one fight. You're going to be hard-pressed to find action like what we just saw anywhere else, but right here on Raw.